Utemba is an icon. Utemba is a jewel. It's a pity ngoba iganingi abantu, especially in this industry, ushonishwa utandwe kakhulu maso shonile. I want to shoot baby in tan and go by bang tan up. This is cleaning swang with an up and hang up. Cleaning a sad routine bambi one, yege one, yege one. Can't you call a gecko and no buffoon and a womb born? Aye. Dad, I would not call him to tell him I'm going to you. Aye, as course. You never go as words of seven to a cota. Aye. Aye. Emi am wangu wuti ufunu wuti temba tutuki. Ekali emi nali shalikita. Funta kubege, aza fige, kwi stage wuti agwazu wuti akompite na mani, the best guitarist. I never believed wuti temba uza ulala with such great people. I don't know, ikatareke zo pelele la in the township, no ways. I get goosebumps, sopra temba mkwena, they are not. Ailes, legend. It's got this information from taking a solo to playing harmony, chords. This information is just out of this world. It's just, it, it, Prati is a, is a book all by himself. And Namanji Temba is still, I don't know, uh, was he born in the guitar or the guitar born in, in him? God, I don't know. With his guitar, he was a wizard. I can manage. why is Alena Mahalin's brothers called a so bad? We shall be a little good ticket, Lum Sevens. Gilt to look like Kyle Talang, I'll call some at Aliko and Pumagulo, Nagi. Nika, a little elegant Pumagulo. Pulana Grand Pumacona, Marco, Missing, Raspala Lagulo Moons. Come, go and from this old boat, the summer's hell and a summer ship. 
Masses of the sea, La Paulin, the Rook Chalk Sea Rotation, then Tala Konagi Manch. From 1958, Elo, Muzan Apuma War, Makuluma, Wotting Thank you. Thank you. Every Saturday. Kukauchola bisi zulu laika ya, baza baza opoza, bivuzana ngo king, habanya tuwa makos, kanjalo, okay. Utemba isa mngane ena, tatu wabu ena, sasiga nina yeka, ubozi. Wakulu temba, isa tandis king, isa mngane talented son, wafundi isa uputu wake, umtuosa shono, umchoko. A shy skin with Temba, a pretty teaser. You put my school in a shallow son and a time for no one. Cobagging as a talent to lack of lapis skin. When your skin may go Temba, I shada, I in Asso, I want to shada, a cunning them cacoon game as shad. Zala no put in Pella Batala, never moon to one in Hanna. A kayak be corner of food, about food with the tandem of the leaking, long bugag, moncula, bugag and bunks in the same in a bog. It's a monk to the bog, go standard five. I'm the scholar sala, Mazo Bobby's roof is a skin. The Bishaya Nabanya Babishan, Nependi forty. Nabanya Bapana Gabatala, Nayo put up a talang, Nayo or I was in Japan. I was in the Russell Infant School. Maloa Primary. I was in the Wafunda. I was in the Wafunda. I was in the Wafunda. I was in what to my wood mouth figure school in the to no Elliot? Yes, young Afira, Bang Paliso, Miss Bang Palis, and at one camera goes and guess I go Elliot. La one gentleman go Elliot, Temba Elliot Mokwen. Second year, standard one, standard two, I'm having Zala and I'm a person at Lule. La, I want a lap of life rand, could I be sent the column tenders of sin. Must to me, King. Mulan, do a timber, Mutiga cool. Oh, put in Jabatal. A baby's daddy skin, way a close to born. Babo noting ever some she and Angum Pan. Gabo nineteen sixty. Safo Mapa a crop. A Kamala little crop of strangers. Suban to strangers. A corner by Suban. Ah, 
He is inspired by, um, um, you know, different uh, guitar players. So now, because he, he's a South African who grew up in Sobantu, he learned to play jazz with his band, Nabu uh, Begim Seleko, and he was he was introduced to various style of music. I think what he expressed on the guitar is 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 the experience of you know a combination of all these substyles of music.
Mose, Arabambi Kita. I was so near into a no more able to do Dalani, Jazzim, Cashio, Hip Hop, no more, with Dalano, my own term. Any Mahale Laranja and very late, go to seven and down. Oh, Temba Mukwin. I think I met Temba in the 60s, made a sort of towards the end of the 60s at OK House. We were still very young then. He was much younger. He is younger than me, of course. And, uh, but he was this young, gifted boy from Natal. It's just sad because they, came, they all came up to Johannesburg, Moba. That's where things were happening. I was telling you that I was going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit from the dress expressions by Joanna O. O. Gibson Kente. Say what Gibson Kente, man. Say what Gibson Kente, the Baba Lobby Palamo play. I don't know if in the 70s, when I came up to Johannesburg, and I found all these wonderful musicians. As a corner at the time, Abo Sipu Kumete, Abo Papa Mkwena, Tex Nduluka, lots and lots of musicians, and, and he was there. Very humble, somebody very quiet. Uh, but when he takes his guitar, his kid was like a kulum. Ubabu Temba Mkwena, a great musician, um, a great guitarist, improviser, and a backing musician. You know, I, we, some of us, we grew up listening to music, Baba, uh, who keeps in Kente. As Katniss Ning, there were no keyboards there, just drums, bass, and guitar, and voices, of course, and the horns. I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house. I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house. I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house. Ubabu Temba Mkwena, I didn't know Uguti. Your uncle music that we grew up listening to from Mama Place, Gababu Kipsin Kento Sikalo. Um, Ubabu Temba Mkwena was a guitar player lab. I'm I'm Yam, Zanilis, we forget you to any keeps in Kente, Upra keep, being Puma than I. Now, when Puma that Pelican, 
naye pratique wa ngibona la hapo pelike hapo sali ngonzi la hapo kukho no mankonko ngozo papa mukwena o o panira shabana o tennis mpali e ngeng bakrete baning baning too much music was hot in the 60s we had venues we had artists we had we had it all and surprisingly ngesi khatsa mabuni we used to have a lot of fun you see go in the Oxycoli Pelican go Conti Jazz Club by Kona lapha Orlando East a bizong to a Pelican and i used to go and watch these guys play abo mankunkungozi nabo bo temba it's just a fantastic quiet humble somebody oh isn't the resonance that I love how the calling comes from and then the phone do that the phone the phone and that seba sebelela abaningi oh mankunkungozi oh bani bani ababiza bonke bani too much a lot of them came from deben Many musicians came from Devon, very good musicians, who really made the scene in music, in music at Johannesburg vibrant and very good. It was hot. Get seen with that guitar, it was a marvel to watch. Ashlanges are both Tina, a crew, now Gibson Kent, and the audience as well. And then every time before we go on stage, what Gibson, Utemba will revitalize everybody backstage before the audience comes in. He amazed a lot of great musicians in South Africa. Empelin was forty eight years <laughs> gone upon which we call his child. What we could say, John of Perim Selegat in a humble, who pay while of a Kalinja that I see you go a Kalapikos. I would take my split target even expression. Put the vessel knitting a boy and wail a car and overpella, eh, nep, Nama pass a corner, bang a half, moving up to be passed. The years I've known him, I've never heard him speaking one single word of English. Uzukulmelesi Zulu, Saseso Bantu, Emarisbeck, and Utemba has been here in Johannesburg, I don't know for how many years, but the language. This is Zulu, only Mumuluza, not to Kuma, was a Kumbuleka, Pelumukuman, Mukuman, or Temam Gwen, Kumbuleka, and over Tinamas like all. Sometimes we, we miss we miss that uh, nuance of his office is Zulu, as a Tegwin or less as a respect. You get it when we hear from Utemam Gwen. Ukona lent to Wotau, Tinabanda Babu and Natali, you know, space group under together. Uh, so we were like a clan of brothers. And then uh, we stayed with Gibson for a long time. And then the next time I was at Temba, when we have graduated from the township into Tau, or the Broadway of South Africa, around Kipis. 
we went up for a meeting of Afropix at AGM. And after the first of the meeting, people said, hey, there's a new jazz club, let's go check it out. So we went down to Kipis in the marketplace. And when we got there, the person working behind the bar was a fine killer and he said, hey, please come see me, I need help, I'm working eight hours a day. And I went to him during the week and he said, hey, you know, he has a job, manage a place. So I was there for about eight or nine months managing Kipis. I lived in Johannesburg for a long time. I met uh, Pratemba Mkwena through Arthur Habedi. Uh, the late Arthur Habedi was uh, the manager at a very famous uh, chess club in Johannesburg called Kipis. And uh, Prati stayed with uh, Pra Arthur in Hillbrook. Most of these young guys, Abafana Nabo, or Lawrence Machiza, would marvel at Utemba Magalala, or Jimmy Dudu. Oh, Jim couldn't believe when he saw Temba playing, he was, he was amazed. So uh, myself, Jimmy Zuzu, the guitar player, and uh, another friend of ours who's late now, who was a pianist, Tratla Mangakura, uh, stayed with us. So we all stayed in the same apartment in High Point. Uh, that's where I met Prati. So since uh, Braatha wanted to start a project with young musicians, the, myself, Jimmy and the late pianist Tratla Magagula were in that project. So uh, we stayed in, in that flat. Um, that's where Jimmy uh, spent a lot of time with Prati uh, on the, uh, with the guitar. Prati was very patient with Jimmy. Uh, he spent hours, like uh, late nights with Jimmy, uh, going through chords how to approach different chords and playing over them uh, and the different styles that were happening in Johannesburg at the time. There was that rivalry between Alan Kuela and the Sandy Leshang, which was the Sandy Nkulu But we all knew that Sandy Nkulu was king. However, Utemba would play U Alan Kwela. I'm keeping Jogo Benjalo, a pinda as a keeper Sandil, a pinda keeper Umax Manguane, as I say, Gumpa Kanga. So Temba has such a huge vocabulary, but you know, so timid, so quiet. Never so expert to call it a camera again. I saw Prati's genius on the guitar was he did a show at Kipis. Kipis just joined. I was trying to remember the name of the singer, was a young singer. They just, they did the show, it was just her and Prati. And now she was like a, a jazz singer, African singer. She would uh, just move between those two things, you know, and fuse them. Uh, for me, that's the first time actually I saw Prati's genius on the guitar because he had all the space uh, in that uh, setup, just a duet. Uh, so she will sing a few times, she will sing and then just leave Prati to do his thing. Or oh, Prati will just go to town, really. You know? Whether it was like the African stuff, we would play some beautiful beautiful African guitar. And then when, when, when they went to the jester, Prati will play some stuff, man, you will like, your head will spin. There were actually two musicians working there. Mfana Mlambo was working on the door, and uh, Silaelo Silota was working as a dishwasher. He'd come around and clear the glasses and stuff like that there. And we called him, we knew him as Timmy at the time. But he was checking out the music scene and all the artists that were coming there to play. It was very much uh, late 1987, and I just got a job to work at Kipis as a cleaner, Kipis Jazz Club. 
And at that time, I think it was the, the third month after Kipis opened, and there was this giant, they used to call him the giant, George Lee, Big G, he came to, he got booked to perform at Kipis, and he came with a band that had no piano, but there were two guitarists, Mr. Temba Mkwena on the one guitar, and the other guitarist who was a, a Rasta guy called Z. Those two made magic. Uh, by the time I started hearing Temba Mkwena, you know, play, both listening to him, how he understood harmony, and how he improvised, a new world was opened. Yakumbula Uslelo, while he was still working, I met this at a panicky PC. I pet a tray, and then the Wutta Kubek and Wogan's and Seven's work. I began the way we turn by Lali Katariak and Akon. It was something like a um, glute. I mean, you could be there and you have Silo Magek Anube, who was also working at the Market Theatre, and Dixon Malele, who was also working with Mbongeni Gema Sarafina at Market Theatre. It was amazing. I was in the middle of a world, but the most special was when I cleaned the dishes at Kipis and cleaned the tables, and I listened to Budtemba Mugwena play. We call it Budtemba. And afterwards, I had the, the advantage of now staying after hours with him and to see and to talk to him, and he was just a gentle man. Is that magic at that time? Maybe I guess I go to Qatar. I can get keeps in guitar. Maybe I turn the thing or turn the work and everything. I am planning to go to Chile. I keep this. I am planning to go to Chile. I keep this. I am planning to go to Chile. I am going to go to Chile. I am planning to go to Chile. I am going to go to Chile. So indeed, a new world opened for me. I was just a new guy wanting to play music, and I didn't even know that I wanted to play guitar. But then came Anansi, this band with George Lee. And when Tembam Kwena played, I tell you, I started feeling there were many, many teary nights whenever they played because at a point they would be booked for two weeks. I remember the first time I actually saw Temba, it was when George Lee also later after Z, the other guitarist, left. They included a young guitar player by the name of Jimmy Lulu in the, in the same setup. So that was my space. I was now seeing a young uh, guitar player that I thought, oh, we, we should be the same age. Why would he be better than me? But I was not aware he was spending a lot of time with Temba Mukwena through the help of uh, uh, the late Arthur Hadeb. I was born in the city of I was born in the city of Tagaba. Especially <laughs> Ah, Brati. How are you, Brati? Very, very well. Good to hear your voice. I was actually just talking to Malcolm now. I said I must come and get you. I want you to come to Cape Town. I want you to come do some work here, man. You know what what we spoke about a few weeks ago. I still need you to. I got to meet and learn uh, of the great Leonard Bratem Bamkwena. Um, just over, a little over 20 years ago. So I was discovered by a, a great friend of mine, uh, somebody that I look up to, uh, called Jimmy Tlutlu. And um, obviously spending a lot of time with Jimmy Tlutlu, he then introduced me to Pratem Bamkwena. 
And then um, there is a famous song on, on Jimmy's album, one of his albums called Mr. Mukwena. And that's a big song, you know, and uh, that's one of the first songs that I could play by uh, Jimmy Tlutlu. This game lives in Petela. Miss Kuo here in the room, Jimmy is my present. What kind of album do you like? The corner and Elbiza, a little Mr. Mukwena. One can bang a low valley, the water no manga lazy. Now, long ago, you'll purchase in Galan and Alamo and Utila Uti Mual Bizanica Malam. When I came back, I was really excited. When I came back from university, I wanted to show him how I, 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 I can play, how I grew up, and um, I was very satisfied when I started seeing uh, people like Jimmy Lulu um, on their albums coming up with songs like Mr. Mukwena. And um, when, when I listened to the song, I had Jimmy really digging deep into the kind of uh, influence and technique that he learned from the man himself. And, um, and I can tell you that, that that's not all. Little did I know that I would actually meet Prati, as we call him. And then I got to call uh, to join the late great Prayuma Sekela's band. And when I relocated to Johannesburg, that's where I got to learn and meet physically and personally the great Pratem Bamkwena. Jimmy had met Prati earlier on, but uh, so they had like some interaction before. But when we moved into the apartment all together, that was the time, that was Jimmy's best time because he was actually staying with the legend in the same flat. And uh, so Jimmy was like, Jimmy always had that drive. So he was on Prati the whole time, trying to suck as much information as possible. He is a genius who is well-rounded as a musician. Someone old Lala Umkashi. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to be a nickname is Akele. The man is an institution, you can't finish it. I can say that if you touch only the tip of the iceberg, that is Temba Mkwena, as a guitarist, you are bound to go somewhere in life. I thought many times, could I play like him? No, there's only one Temba Mkwena, and as I explained, his technique is something else. So just that touch of an angel, then you are done. You move on, you, you get your own voice. When I started playing confidently, he did come to me and nodded and say, Mfanawan, what are you like? That boy is good, that boy. Very good. Are we okay? Yeah. yeah. Jimmy will be oh, so excited to show him, hey man, listen, I checked this song out. And then you'll play the song and say, listen to it, the Prati has got a very sharp, good ear. He will listen, and, and it, it'll be, it will be a song that he had never heard of. He will listen to the song and, 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 and work there. Then we will go out there with Jimmy and my, my other friend, you know, go somewhere. Prati will just check the song quickly. When we come back, we'll say, hey, Jimmy, now listen. Play that same song again, Jim. We play that song and say, okay, that chord and that chord and that chord, all those chords are wrong. Listen now, I'm playing the song now. We'll play the song. We'll all hear, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the song. Then it will show Jimmy those chords. So during that period, Jimmy really gained a lot of practice. Lessons. Now that I'm older and actually listening to Jimmy's older records or first records, he's got the exact style, feel, and approach as of Pratem Bamkwena. So, Jimmy, uh, when I asked him, so how was it like, you know, working or sitting in with the legend of Pratem Bamkwena, he said it was heavenly. It was heavenly because why? That was his one on one. 
with Prati. That was his moment with Prati. If you hear Jimmy play, that's literally, if you close your eyes, you will think he's Prati and Lomkwena because he literally took that style of Prati and made it his own. And because of Pratim, but Jimmy, Louis, Louis, Jimmy, Louis, Louis today. Because that style, and uh, it's, it's big from the leaks, from the style of playing, from the approach, from everything, you know. It. I can hear that, oh, this is my phrase. That you hear because I, uh, I, can, that, I can hear you loud and clear, uh, including the first few records. Wow. Yeah, when I came back, I met Jimmy there at Kipis. At Kipis, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, at Kipis. Long. Years ago, it's I don't know. Years, right? uh, yeah, and then we went to stay with, with Kai Point, yeah. with Ada Khabib. You know Ada Khabib? No, no, no. Maybe I see the. He, he was the manager. He was the manager at Kipis. Yeah, Kipis at the time. Yeah, he's the one who bought us guitars. Uh, they bought wow. the guitar for me and they bought the guitar for Jim. Wow. He was our manager, in fact. Wow. That guy, and he's the one who was giving us some jobs. And yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and Jim, I stayed with Jim. I'm sure almost. Two, three years. Oh, wow. We were staying together, we were sharing the bed. In wow. fact, we were not sharing the bed, we were sharing a sponge. A sponge? Yeah. Wow. Mm. That was, and then until Jim left yeah. to Cape Town, he came here to Cape Town. To Cape Town, yeah. And we stayed there, I had Jimmy, 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 now yes. the superstar. He's a superstar. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm sure when people see on the sleeves who's playing or who played on an album and they keep on seeing this name, Temba Mkwana, Temba Mkwana, they probably have a, a different image of what the man, the stature and the character. Uprati, I was able through the recordings that uh, you know, he participated in. But I did not know which, who was this gentleman who plays it, who fuses it jazz no patanga, you know, at the same time, and it sounds so beautiful. They were just magical. Uh, Pratemba is one of the greatest guitar players. You know, I look up to Pratemba Mkwena. Uh, Pratemba Mkwena has, has affected my style of playing 95%. Thank you, 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 we were, my age group, we were all around him because we realized that we don't have a brother in front of us. We have an institution in front of us. By the way, I still have the double albums of Mparanyani and the Cannibals. And then I learned the story that at some point, Mparanyani played with Ray Piri. At some point, he played with Temba Mkwena. He also captured the attention of all Sbongi and Kumalo. I never believed we would temple with our Lala with such great people. I thought, no, Katarek is Opelela in the township, no ways. Wapuma na ayo, ayo na ayo le. So I met him at, uh, when he was playing with Mams Bongi Lukumalo, and I was so touched and I got so excited. And I rushed backstage and I spoke to Mams Bongi Le. 
and I asked about this guitarist. One of the things that really struck me about Bob Temba is I was in disbelief when I watched him play because he doesn't move that fast as a person. He, you know, he doesn't have that energy that comes out of his hands. It is not translated to the rest of his body. He's, he looks frail. He's an old man. First of all, you know, when I first saw him uh, a stage, I was like, yo, my goodness. Lendot is a fellow stage, Pella I mean, what happens if he stands up and he, he stumbles and falls? Because he looked like when you look at him, if you don't know him and you see him for the first time, you will think that this is a man who's sick, who's frail. He always has to get a chair, a thalest uloeni. And then only then you hear who the man is just from the, 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 the sound of his guitar. You close your eyes, you would swear it's someone much younger who's playing. And his music is full of libations and it was, for me, a match made in heaven. I knew that we had to work with, together. I knew we were meant to work together. He was loved wherever we went in Cape Town. He had a lot of uh, people I like his playing style and his techniques when he plays his guitar. He's so unique. I've never heard someone who plays like him. He's just got his own skill that I wish he can share with the younger generation. Utemba Mgwena is the kind of person that when you need him, utale soweto, somewhere, You've got to send a transport to go fetch him. Well, but that's the only person you want. You don't want anybody who plays guitar. Anybody can play guitar. Anybody can read a score, put a chart here, and lale a music. But when Temba plays, then you know what this is Temba Mgwena's signature. And what Temba said to me, I'm going to buy a good guitar. I was earning 94 rents per fortnight, because now I was under pressure. I want to spend time with Butemba. I want to, I want to see, because now I had that opportunity of always being around him. Brought the guitar, I said, Butemba, here's my guitar. He was very excited. He actually smiled. I remember his smile so vividly on that day. He says, you got a beautiful guitar, my boy. Let me play it. So even the gauge of strings that I use today, I did not know that for you to play, um, in a certain way, in terms of dexterity, it will also depend on the kind of gear you use. So, so Butemba said to me, hey, Vanuan, got in tambos, I was like, man. I did not know that I was using 12 gauge. And Butemba uses the lightest gauge on guitar. And that is why sometimes with his technique, he's able to actually press down two strings with one finger. And because of that, he is one guitarist who's able to produce a piano chord out of a guitar, whereas us, I'm not able to do that up to this day because I chose to play heavy strings. I, I like resistance and he knows exactly. So he is the man who knows his musicality, the engineer behind how he will produce that sound. He has been able to borrow from Amanyama genres like he jazz and fuse it into Yoguzan. So, where was Wutatate is into Espuma 
that were not maybe generally accepted on the particular genre, but because he's such a, you know, a good musician, he would make it all sound like, well, hey, it belongs here. You know, that begs the question, Dukuti, Ngempela, 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 Umpa is it a 145 progression, you know, uh, type of music, Pela Na? Tim has got such a fluid style of playing and it's such a, a rootsy kind of thing and he's got the ability to switch from mainstream jazz to Mbakanga. You don't know where he gets his runs from, he just, he just makes magic on the guitar for me and I can understand why people like Yuma Sikela and Sibongile and all his big names want him in the band because he brings a lot to the music, he adds to it and he doesn't take away or anything and he's a humble cat in his own way. He never imposes himself on any situation. He just, the guitar is his thing, it's his world and that's what, and it, what he does best. I really think there should be much more recognition for people like that and people like that should be looked after. Now, what is also interesting about Utemba is that I've never seen an electric guitar without Utemba. I've never seen Temba Mkwena with uh, foot pe pedals to create various uh, sound effects from his guitar. It is the sensitivity uh, 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 through which Temba plays and travels with this guitar that gives you the sense of the sound that Temba has that no one else has. His style of playing is unique. He, the way he voices his guitar, the way he solos, the way he approaches a song, it's just heavenly and it's out of this world. So Pratemba had a big impact on my playing in my life, you know. Uh, I still get to talk to Prati, you know, just to get to understand the history of playing Batanga music and all sorts of different styles of music. Um, when I joined Prayu's band, the first person that I visited when I got to Johannesburg was Pratemba Kuena. The reason why I did that, I wanted to have a clear picture and understanding of the style of playing. Prayu then took me to Pratemba Kuena and that's where I got to learn the style of playing. His playing is just so striking and so I haven't heard anyone that plays like him. Um, unique, he's a uh, sound is very unique and very familiar at the same time and uh, very soothing, very Chautinu Kunga Ngati he is a in constant prayer. I find no more mongoose pet and use Jale and Mangato and nothing silly fact or silly Matangi Hogan. Angati and Anseco, Goba no mong tanda and tata so. If I be, you don't know by feeling ill fula, Elin Tobu, Elin Tobai. This king, this Bugurun, this king, my eyes watching us busy and teen footing over and Ampella and Bella is pure and jing as pure and good and good. I am God with us cousin King. Go and Funda and Gang Yang and the Sea Colin. Go to again, dear Jar and Jaran and the Nay Fundis. Sang the little Noma Orchestra in Perama Pip Pengi. Yabatella put mothers on land to good tie. When my daughter young school in Minang Funmang figure upon Luning, Nigger Mape, Punning Nigger Young Angi Funda. Yap, Siswan, Lap. In that regard, we are similar. Uh, we are both self-taught. Uh, we both can't read music. <laughs> music had an element of spirituality, um, a big element of, of spirituality, and not necessarily like the songs themselves, but um, the people even behind the songs. He's, he's got a far more ability. He might not be able to talk to you in musical terms, and he's never studied music, I believe, So, but he knows the structure of how things work in music, and he puts it together very well. A few weeks ago, we played together, and I told myself, I need to go back to the drawing board because Prati is one, he picks up the guitar, very quiet, doesn't talk much, but when he plays the guitar, that's how he talks. Environment like a Tasalaguyo, 
A2, but there was, there was a lot of musicians. And then uh, they used to blend some nandi, but time to go to the lama kicks, wabo, like uh, maslele spoons and everything. The topic it will always be about music. So music, it means uh, ukaza or cool. We enjoy our own country, women in music. Put masna talas kulumu music, ilang along the salad of spindles with kulumu music, I am not a boy. Music, does not undermine a band. You know, it, you don't have to have a big name who's Utemba and I are tying as an Zok support. Utemba comes and says, Temba, um, is an artist we want you to, uh, to, to, to perform with or to come and play, uh, lay some tracks, a studio. He will come and he will listen and he will give you exactly what you, what, what you want. Yeah, he's such a great man. He's such a great man, a selfless person. If you ask him to play for you, he wouldn't ask you for money, he would just do it. He's such a very great person. Arthur Havedi, the manager of Kipis, started wanting to book Tempa Mugwena to do his own gigs. And at some point, I was now the backing guitarist to play with Tempa Mugwena. And I remember the first time Arthur got us a gig at the market warehouse to perform, but Tempa did not make it. But I legacy I I we make money for other people. People come. Some artists are not going to be able to do it. Even now, you see what you are going to do. It's a bema, it's a poo, it's a little bit of a stage so Utemba, being young, what about involved in twenties in Ngabi? And away from home? Wa Shangana na Manyama artist love. Kwa ba njena yenye nitu njena? Utemba, kwa kala ka njali waka nani, ka nani. In fact, ite ye mafakta ka kuru chwala. Mbaga mbaga puzili. Well, mbaga kwa asulada. Ama artist, sometimes they go through a lot of depression. You know, we told you that uh, then they indulge in drugs, abanye they indulge in alcohol. One, we told you that we have a kick, we have a show in it. Or, we have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. We have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. We have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. We have a lot of people I not to sue wrong man, to sue a pamboga man. Say a lot of magic talent. Kalunkulunkula says it's all in a good job. Go about umte to umbing illa two months. A man's amponjo and I being wild, a foot iron man. Banging us born no good to go back. Can't be back home among Bona or the pair of Taibo. Now, Mutis Wamban is the sea for the sea challenge in a more unborn pair it was a time I remember very well when we all knew of him as a drunkard. You know, we we never thought anything would come out of Utemba. We'd say, "Oh, oh shame! What a talent!" But who very white with this actually? Now you keep seeing baby I'm close. I tell you, let's talk about this. Yeah, bo. This is why I now opera keep again keep seeing opera keep. I mean, I was trying not too much no opera keep in Bella. Well, the best work on our campaigning thing, somewhere, somehow, as Baba and I, no prokip, but I, some uncles in a hambe. I would tell him a hambe. Abalego keeps in, but he would still come back, you know. To, and to be very, very honest and blatant, sometimes keeps in would treat him like a dog. Who's a boy of forty and young land? 
Sure, he had his problems in the past, like many musicians would go down the road of drinking or drugs or whatever, and all that there. And you, you, you end up with a reputation that people say he's good, but so they don't want, you know, they, they, they're reluctant to hire you. But he's changed, he's, he's turned his life around, he's become this, this person who, who's responsible and disciplined now. Because he despised him, but all he wanted from him was his talent and nothing more than that. And Yamaza Utemba Muga Guam learned to lay with I criticize our college while in Angus feel he's worthy of anything. Uga watching Eleni Langa, Sister Manga winning like her alfado. So my woman, Mamma, about to. yeah, <laughs> Um, he came to the gig, but he was already at a level, after the rehearsal, at a level whereby he, he has uh, imbibed enough to not be able to stand up, you know, and uh, I, 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 I didn't know how I was going to do that performance because he was the main man who was supposed to play the melodies and so on and so on. Mkumbulang said Cape Town in their corner. They have vulgar basis of cocolate, best like cocolate. They have vulgar and vulgar choice of pedi or tear. Mount Vulgar and their bosom. I want to show you Kalanin. Your way show you pedi. I want to be seven zig up soon as man as Sam. I started staying in Berea in Hilbro at the night in the middle at 2 a.m. in the morning. Butemba would come and knock. I was staying in a caravan. My boy, Mvana wam, ufuna nyik fundi sok survive alai Johannesburg. He said, we are kotola. I remember it was winter when he came. And then he came with Victor beer. And he said, you have bread. I had bread. He opened the bread and poured Victor beer. And it became coffee, coffee, you know. And we ate this bread. And now because you get full and you now you are a bit intoxicated and full, and you sleep, you forget about the coldness. And he says, now you will learn how to survive in Johannesburg, my boy. That's the man. Uzi Khutman Leo Brahiu, at A. Dixon, Dama Baki Dayanaman, in Funukum Tata Gumuksegun Dawyam, or a rehab. He's very good. I need to work with him. Wamfaka ukuthi rehab wavuma wayamukela lo nto wahlala ukuthi rehab waze waphuma ukuze zonke lezinto wayezenza njengoba eyi le nto eyi ayiyona mhlanje My name is Shwanis Fagute and I'm a counseling psychologist at Houghton House what we do here is we get a lot of people who struggle with substances so when people come into our institution, we often get a, a lot of different presentations and in most cases people come in um, in their vulnerable state and they are so broken and they're not willing. So, well, some are willing, but most of them are not willing to relook at themselves and face um, the reality of what substance abuse has brought onto their lives. <laughs> Benz, Mal, and Galon, and what one day? A conza cool to all. 
Gorobasi betulegi le no mam toroti masuk bezamu gum kaset ay au au tuku magang nande ba. Gorobasi skin gus dada usin zima ba. Uzokinu awa azuk dada skin. Ay kubega lumpo etu. Lampelang cemang sengana naya prai wau prai wat eh yasin. Ine fisa ini. Wai logan ke lagu saya nak tu ya fisa utara nama. Um, like Houghton House, which was uh, founded by Mr. Alex Hamlin. So because of the value and the reputation that Houghton House has, I think Brahu saw it that it would definitely benefit Brahti Mugwena to come in and be rehabilitated in our institution, which is based in South Africa. And I think locally, um, it, is, it is regarded as one of the best rehabs in Johannesburg. Umundengi mngoma yaguna wabonge owa msizo temu. Mkla mwenyanga 16 manjilo. Uchwa lenga, lenga buti nye mbibi. Upra hiu. Upra hiu wa mtatu wa mse rehab. Uwecha yege lo uchwa la lo. Wabieka. Hey, kutukubiega wake, hey. Gacha blaga abi mina ngoba. Masi nfige lwa ilo oguti, hey. Lopchu alabu zombula alu mfuetu. Ubabu hiu masige la wa tata ubabu temba wa msiza. Wapuma ule za inking. He. Kanti, by doing so, he opened a can of worms. A genius of ubabu temba mkwena ya vela food. You know. One of the greatest uh, musicians I've ever known. Someone who's gifted um, with the ability to play behind Abanya Bandu without taking over. Now, also what I like about Utemba, he's not a show off. He's not a person who wants to outshine any other musician on stage or who wants to outshine the artist or wants to take a solo where there is no need for a solo. Utemba respects the craft, he, respect, he respects himself and his instrument. Utemba respects the artist that he has been invited to come and support. You know, someone who has mastered the skill to and not to underplay and yet not to overplay. Um, Someone who to make to a solo, I asuga mape. The reason why his body looks like it's failing him is because he abused himself um, through alcohol. But at some stage, he took a decision to stop drinking. And I met him in November after he had long stopped drinking. But it looked as if he was just drinking yesterday. But he had stopped drinking long time ago. But he was not shy to tell people that um, alcohol nearly destroyed him, nearly took his life. <laughs> So what will be interesting is to know Ukuthi while sep is in our case, Otwala, his king will be sensational. We're pretty sunny because it doesn't sound like someone who ever stopped playing. 
I felt so proud. You know, I suppose. And I thought in time by into a discussion just now, the temples are weird. And over a lot of people also to buy a gilaban of the temple, but I mean, I'm breaking. I never thought Utemba would be the Temba I see today. Nyabonga Gakulu. I think Uni Unkulunkulu Unelusi. Because Utemba Uza Kile. Because people will not help you if you don't ask. And then Utemba respected to Spogile Gakul. Baba Zuya M7 Zin was Spogile. He will prepare himself. For five hours, at my daughter, saying a hamper manging him seven zin and funny loot to Malum seven zombie. Oh, Fagale suti akele, Kalubonu temba, a fage suit, Mazma machines. Hm, respect him seven zoke, no spongy and all that. So, Utemba is the living testimony that any habit whether it's drugs, gangsterism, whether it's about uh, beating women, uh, you can stop it. Ubrati comes from a very old time, a time perhaps that we, we are forgetting. And what he has given us is one of those things that we should be striving to not forget. His gifts. Uh, they have enriched our um, cultural landscape. Namanje, he is still rated amongst the musicians as the best guitarist. I still need my time with you alone, Brati, before we do that workshop. So we will plan that all in one. When you come to Cape Town for the workshops and things that I, we spoke about, I still need my time with you alone, Brati, because that information is needed for me personally. It will be interesting to see the people who are in the world, 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 over four decades, the only thing is to practice. That's the only thing is to practice your guitar, love your guitar. Two, uh, two hours a day is enough. Our people want to wake up much later. But Prati, if we study him closely and look at him closely, he should be a, a list at every university, from UCT to WITS to UWS, just about every university, Prati must be a study. He's got this art and understanding of a guitar that's unique. Only Prati has got that signature. You know, you think you've got that style of playing. 
Even here, same thing. I can't play here with this finger. This, this. I want to man in Ya enjoy of Zal and then Zal never find a lamp. Over the Baldal, then Baldal in Wapelaman again, starting with the teaser, which was fencing, singing down to the government of the city. Young Christian would name the music, no more swans, and then to the music here. What is the as would he insult? I don't join us. Insuka, can you and go? Image in Salon to pay you good words, calling your name and gas. Can be nothing to leg. Let's say, put a piece of the way piece of arms. And in a little in Salute, must now what all are my two. In seven dating a bonnet. In a little in. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah, you mustn't leave these kids. You must, always, you must always encourage these kids. These are your kids. Man. I know. I've told you already now. If you are not here, they will be pleased to death. To death. I want to have a photo with these guys. Um, but Prati is one of our unsung heroes. And unfortunately, there's been way too many of those. Homeland, <laughs> And this is how we celebrate the life, the gift, and everything that God has given us. Uchemba is doing exactly that. You know, a different character from the Temba I knew in the 70s and the 80s. He's like converted and become a di and focused now in his career. And Yambong and Moba, you know, Musum Tala Ranji, Sisbon Uta, some as a wind, some as a wind, Susa was a and Tabin, Cotra, Busu was a wind called Ranjemo Tamba. I mean, it's, it's really beautiful. And I think it's a lesson to the young and up and coming artists, Uti. Uh, we can live uh, and be frustrated like anybody else, but pick up ourselves and just never. Uh, uh, lose that focus. I say a bonger a cool, Nabam Tatabamkabangel would spoke about with Temba. Why am I foolish call Sako once and for all? What that is what I am looking forward to. Of doing everything really kindly in my respect. What we need now for Utemba is a Temba Mukwena Academy Guitar Academy. Temba Mukwena Guitar Academy. La Epitama respect. La Azalwa Kona. Well, we know that one day we're going to pass on. Therefore,